Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more RimWorld Zombieland in the town of Tombstone. So you know how I said I might do some jump cuts with some large projects being done and such before the next episode? Didn't get very far. Only about a day or so working on the guest room and then two things happened. One, we had a psychic drone land somewhere, which gave all my female members a minus 30 mood penalty. So they're all about to snap. Every female on my base is about to become murderous. That's going to be... Real fun. And then we're also getting raided at the same time by another 40, 40 tribes people. So, I mean, yeah, what I've learned out of this is uh, complain to Randy that things are hard enough and Randy's going to be like, hold my cocaine, and then horrible things happen. It's going to be <laughs> real fun to deal with. I'm actually not worried about the raid. They'll just walk into the, the uh, wall of zombies. I'm really worried about this mood penalty, though. That is, uh, that is extremely dangerous. Everyone just breaks and starts shooting everyone up. We might just see ourselves lose in the next few minutes. There's the first one. Lex has broken inside and become obsessed with corpses. She is going to dig up a corpse and present it for all to see. Oh no, Lex. Lex is gonna go and dig up main Marco. Oh no, Lex, don't defile the dead. He was the only person in our group to die. No! Oh, it's main Marco's corpse. She's gonna go and drop it in like the middle of the base, isn't she? Oh, why? Oh, no, why? All right, I'm sorry, main Marco spirit. We are going to try to make up for this. We're going to build, like, a proper sarcophagus and crypt for you, okay? Please do not haunt me for all of time. Oh, my God, Lex, you're literally bringing main Marco's corpse and placing it on the dinner table. On the dinner table, Lex! <sighs> I really hope that was cathartic for you in some way. Oh, it was. Okay, well, good. She, she finally got to unbottle her feelings. 40 mood improvement. In a way, this was actually a really good thing. Freaking heck. Oh my god, I wasn't paying attention. The tribes people got through the wave of zombies and are now breaking down the gate? Oh, holy crap. Okay, we need to get some people up here uh, ASAP. Um, Firesax, Atticus, and Carl with the good guns. Now is the time to start killing all the tribes people. Holy crap, he got freaking through. All right, over the fence. Shoot it. No, shoot this one. Shoot that one. They freaking broke open the gates! I'm actually kind of impressed. I can't even really be mad. I'm a little mad, but I'm not that mad. Dang. First time a tribe has actually posed a threat to me this entire game. Freaking heck, more of this, please. All right, well, um, they're trying to hit me, but fortunately we are wearing some flak vests and flak pants for Carl. So he's gonna be okay, probably. Let's just have them, oh, okay, he got hit. We're gonna keep trying to just funnel them right through the door and kill them all before they can do anything. Ah, you got a little bit of a bruise and a crack on your pelvis. I think you'll be all right. And now they're running away. That's right, you get the heck out of here, you little scum buckets. Frickin' heck, man. All right, Carl, continue working on the sarcophagus for main Marco's corpse. Um, so, do we have anybody who's alive? Any wrigglers? We got a wriggler. Let's see, you're good with animals, but you're also staggeringly ugly, so I'm gonna go with no. Cooking, medical, social, you know what I really need is somebody who's extremely good with um, crafting, which appears to be this person, actually. Holy crap, hang on. Psychically sensitive, undergrounder, and jogger. Uh, you are actually probably worth saving. Fire sacks, go and capture Minoka. Yes, Minoka with 12 crafting. Now, the undergrounder is a little annoying. Psychically sensitive also really sucks. But fortunately, you're a man, which means you're not actively being affected by the psychic drone, which means maybe we can make something work. I don't know. Let's go save Minoka. Actually, I should check your health first. How, uh... Okay, you lost your radius. You have a lot of gunshots, and you're gonna die in a few hours. What are you doing with the corpse, Ophelia? Please, for the love of God, don't eat the corpse. Oh, yeah, and on a totally unrelated note, just because I did see somebody complaining about this in the uh, suggestions tab on Discord... I'll turn off the learning helper tool. It's been there for like 13 episodes. I know it's driving you nuts. Sorry. I know some people think I don't read those tabs because I don't usually respond to it because it draws too much attention and people think they can talk to me and I can't respond to it fast enough. But I do read those tabs, hence why I saw it. So, okay, fine. Fair enough. The tooltip is off. And, oh, God, the zombies are flooding in. Okay, we have our next breakage. Lunar Eagle this time. So, our doctor... And she's decided to go binging on, I guess, more Red Bull. All right, you know, again, so far, as far as breaks are concerned, these have been very mild. Digging up main Marco's corpse and drinking Red Bull. 
Best I could have hoped for, really. Did finish the sarcophagus, uh, sarcophagus up here. Do have to finish up the crypt. But this is a masterwork marble sarcophagus, so I would like to think that we've made it up to main Marco at least a little bit. The sarcophagus bears a representation of Lunar Eagle leaning against main Marco's grave with a desolated expression. A gray aurora shines in the background. The overall composition is well balanced. In addition to that, a singer sits far from the main subject. The portrayal refers to Lunar Eagle visiting the grave of main Marco. Oh, that's about as perfect as I could have hoped for! I don't think that it changed the description based on who's being buried there. The game didn't know. It just happened to make it about Main Marco, and I buried Main Marco in there. I love it! By the way, in case you were curious about that special shiny material we had earlier, uh, it is actually Sky Steel. I don't know why, for some reason, the game didn't want to just call it Sky Steel. Because I think in the past I've seen Meteors fall, and it actually says straight up, This is Sky Steel. So I don't know why they're trying to, like, be fancy about it. Um, maybe, maybe there's, like, a chance of it being something different. The point remains, though, it's just Sky Steel. Pretty good for armor, I suppose. Not much else. Stronger than normal steel, but terrible insulator. Yeah. But if you're not using it as an insulator, then, sure, why not build walls or armor out of the stuff? Oh, okay, so this is more what I was afraid of. Sophia has flown into a sadistic rage. She's now gonna vent her anger on the prisoners. No, 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 no! Don't go and kill Minoka! Oh, dear, this could be a problem. She's, yep, Fear is just going and punching Minoka. You know how hard it's gonna be to recruit Minoka now? Oh, frickin' heck, Fear. She just wants to go and punch people. She just wants to see people burn. Frickin' heck. Well, as long as you snap out of it in time for your next malaria treatment, I guess I'm okay with it. Uh-oh, Lunar Eagle just overdosed on Go Juice. Yeah, that that would be a problem. Um, so you're high on go juice, like a lot. Your consciousness is very high. Sight, movement, drug overdose minor, 62%. Consciousness max, 50%? Oh, no. Um, can I, like, have you go and rest or something? No, wait, you're still, you're still dazed. I can't control you at all. Um, if you go and get more Go Juice, I may have no choice but to arrest you to even have a chance at saving your life. But if you're overdosing, there's a chance you're gonna frickin' die. Alright, chief of one of the tribal villages, uh, there's apparently a camp that's been raiding their caravans. Please go kill them, and they'll give us an AI Persona Core. Actually worth it. Actually worth it, because I need that if I want to build a, uh, if I want to build a spaceship and get out of this dang planet. Okay, where is it? I need to find out where this thing is, because this is now a mission totally worth doing. If only I can get people cured of their malaria. It's a little ways away, but not outrageous. It's controlled by our old friends, the Assassin's Rig. Okay. No, that's great. And then there's also... There's also another outpost, which I don't even know what this is about. 14 enemies here, apparently. 12 enemies here. That is a lot of enemies. Credit where it's due, but it is only an outpost, so not a lot of defenses, I imagine. Yeah, we need to do that. Fear, can you, can you please go back to bed? Don't go... Okay, now Fear is just staring at Atticus and Iza as they sleep. That's absolutely horrifying. Lunar is now just wandering into Fear's room. I think they don't know who they are. Oh, this freaking drone, man. These psychic drones are just absolutely brutal. And she's throwing up. Yep, that's right. That's good, actually. Get it out. Get it all out of your system. Holy crap, minus 42! Oh, gag! How do you even beat this without a freaking ton of tinfoil hats? Oh, the psychic drone is ending. Oh, the psychic drone is ending. Thank you. Thank you so freaking much. Oh, my gag. All right. All right. Now we can start getting the beer base back in order. As long as Lunar Eagle doesn't plop over dead from, like, a heart attack. It is absolutely hilarious watching Lunar Eagle walk around. Look how much faster she is than everyone else. Whee! Okay, she's trying to inject herself with some more go juice. Uh, no, we cannot allow for that. I'm gonna have to arrest her and stop her. Um, drafts, try to arrest Lunar Eagle, and then who else is nearby? Uh, fire sacks, I'm gonna draft you and bring you up here as well, just in case she resists. Oh, she injected. Crap. Okay, she's already slightly overdosed. Um, at this point, the damage is kind of done. We're going to just let her do her thing. Next time we see her go for that, we're going to have to stop her. Please break out. By God. You've got a pretty good mood right now. Just wake up. Lunar Eagle, freaking wake up. Okay, she's going for it again. This time we have to arrest her now. Arrest her. Intercept. Punch her. Stop. No, no. Stop her. Stop her. Fire sacks. Get up here and get ready to stop her. Don't let her get any more of the freaking go juice. I cannot lose Lunar Eagle. 
I want to keep her as my doctor. Dang it, she's good at what she does. Arrest her. Carl, get over here. No, punch her. Got her. All right, so she's going to be a little angry, and we're going to have to recruit her back, but it is better than dying, Lunar Eagle. Promise you. Hmm, we could actually invite our first ever visitors to Tombstone. They're afraid to enter because of zombies, but I'm going to ensure their safety. Come on, guys. There's a relationship here. Wait a minute, it's a kin of... There's a son of Carl? Carl has another kid? His name is Ivan. Oh, hello, Ivan. Don't you look terrifying. Brady has also been injured, apparently, already. By zombies on the way here. Oh, fascinating. It actually calculated that. Uh, okay. So you're approaching from the south, which is arguably one of the worst places you could come from, but that's fine. Uh, we might be actually able to escort you here, and then if we can make you happy, the kingdom of Bondala will be even happier with me. Oof, they actually almost made it safely. Not quite, but they got kind of close. All right, well, all these zombies are going to die. Everyone's safe in the base. All right, you guys are welcome to go and sleep now. Brady, if you really want to sit here and just shoot them, you're welcome to do that. So, Stench, you got bit, uh, which means you might be zombified. I don't know yet. Um, also, Brady got bit. Lechi appears to be the only one who's fine. Ivan's actually fine, too. Okay, so two of you guys might zombify while you're staying here, which is uh, obviously a slight issue. But if you guys would like to go and visit our incredible lodgings up to the northern end of the base, uh, we have some great amenities, including a excellent poker table and a flat screen TV and a legendary sculpture of legend. Help wanted. A nearby settlement, Green Delta, contacts you for a special request. Their fields have yielded far more than originally expected, and they could really use your help with the harvest. Um, actually, that sounds pretty helpful, too. Uh, which, uh, which group is that? That's Blue Thicket. Black Cliff. Frickin' where... Where is it? Which one? Whoa! Okay, you're pretty far off. Green Delta with the Briya Band Cam of the River. 25 days, huh? Yeesh, okay. There are apparently a lot of things that I need to do. I really, really do want that AI Persona core, though. 12 enemies. I feel like I could probably handle that with the right group. Everyone's kind of at full health right now. The base appears to be in more or less good condition. Uh, something got broken down here. How the heck did that happen? I don't know. Things are breaking all around me, and I'm not, I'm not noticing, apparently. Um, alright. Well... In that case, let's go ahead and set up another caravan. Uh, we, this time, would like to bring along Fire Sacks and Carl and... How about Klaz and Iza and also Lex, I think. These five probably are going to be good enough for us. Don't really want to bring along anybody else, I think. I'll keep everyone where they are. Um, I don't really feel the need to bring along the animals... I did buy an alpaca, by the way, but you don't need to know that. Uh, so let's instead bring along some pemmican, some simple packaged meals, like 30 of them. That's plenty. And then I will also bring along some medicine. Just be absolutely sure that we are going to be okay. Everything else seems fine? I think so. So with these people, let's choose our route, and we are going to go and get that freaking AI Persona Core, because this is freaking valuable. Before I do that, though, Carl, why don't you go talk to your son, Ivan? Although I think it's a little creepy that Ivan's just staring inside of the prisoner's room, looking at our prisoner longingly. Absolutely horrifying. I don't know if you get some sort of, like, benefit for, like, talking to them or something. Probably not, but it'd be kind of cool if you did. Um, I'm gonna sell off the leftover go juice because this has only brought me trouble at this point. Also, the Psychite tea. Who needs any of that stuff? We'll get rid of our drugs, and that way, no one's ever gonna binge on that again. One tiny little quality of life improvement I decided to make is to place a refrigerator right inside of the dining room for lavish meals. That way, uh, as we create these meals, people don't have to wander quite so far to grab their food. It's a little bit faster to grab your dinner and then move on with your work. Hey, there we go. Ivan, Stench, and the other visitors were really happy with their stay. They left behind a gift of medicine and rice. Okay. Well, that improves our relations quite a bit. Apparently, they're going to be back in a few days. Nice. Now, what I could do is actually start increasing how much I would charge for people to stay. It does reduce their mood a tiny bit, but it also means I get money. So we're kind of now running a hotel service. Caravan has arrived. Okay, I don't see any sign of turrets at all, so it should be just a one-on-one -on -one fight. 
Well, not one on one. You get the point though, pawn on pawn. I see at least a single sniper and the rest of you appear to have pretty weak rifles. So if I set up down over here, for example, I think we'll be able to start picking you off pretty easily. Don't really anticipate you guys being much of a threat, especially if some of you guys have freaking shivs. Oh no, Glover's trying to shoot me. Freaking Glover is dead. Don't be like Glover. All right, there goes the next one. Let's see, this person has an assault rifle. Oh, okay. Hang on, we can shoot this one. Oh, he's got a flak jacket as well. Iza got shot in the arm. Iza gets shot a lot, have you noticed this? Otherwise, she'll be fine. Lex, you need to go like hide behind a tree or something. Um, Klaz, let's move you forward. Fire sacks, you're more or less fine. Uh, Iza, let's move you over, let's say, here. And Carl, take her old place. Class still not quite close enough, huh? Uh, why don't you run forward up here? Let's see if we can make that work. Lex is in range, at least, so she's getting some extra shots off. Okay, and they are automatically reforming. Quest complete! The payment has arrived. Faction relations have improved by 18. I don't see an AI person. There it is! Oh, lovely. A freaking AI persona core is all mine. All right, so if I wanted to, we really could start tracking toward building up a proper spaceship. You know what? Since we're already out and about, I'm going to have these guys follow the road and try to do those peace talks. Maybe we can actually make one of those uh, tribes not hate me quite so much. Never done one of these before. And if it turns out that it's a total waste of time, I'll just kill them and start a war. Wow. This textile trader is selling beta poly plate armor worth 68,000 silver. How good is this thing? Look at that armor value, 200% across all sharp, blunt, and heat-based weapons. Not the best of insulation, and it's also really slows you down, but man, that is, uh, that is a valuable piece of equipment. What I need to do is develop a railgun so I can shoot these ships out of space and take all their stuff. That would be the ultimate form of piracy. Unfortunately, it also does not exist in this game. I love it when people start doing, like, fire-setting sprees and stuff. It's like, I'm gonna set a fire here, and someone's just standing around like, Nope, stomp it out. Well, how about one over here? Nope, stomp it out. It's like, <laughs> this has gotta be frustrating for poor fear, right? Well, apparently we arrived, because the peace talks were a success. The delegates reached a new mutual understanding on several substantial issues. Relations have improved by 65? And Carl, in the meantime, gained 6,000 social experience. Cool, so now we are no longer uh, enemies, and they won't attack me. Oh god, I had a major zitzt. Wow, my entire battery collection discharged everything. The two fuses managed to discharge at like 3,600 watts or something like that. But it still wasn't enough to stop the zitz from doing some damage to the electric stove. Fascinating. This is what happens, by the way, if you leave the stove on, guys. I'm just saying. I don't know if I need to set up some sort of a discipline chart or something. Some sort of safety posters, I guess. Freaking turn the thing off when you're done with it. Oh, good freaking grief. I forgot to turn people off from attacking, so they shot the walls, they broke the walls, the zombies are coming in, I have everybody in a kill box, and a freaking chicken walked in and got shot to death. <sighs> good thing I wasn't very attached to that chicken or anything. Nearby settlement uh, wants some help with harvesting again for 12 days. I mean... Sounds great and all, but I'm gonna go with no. Why is the muffalo eating my marijuana? Please stop eating the crops. Gosh dang it. Oh, sure. Yes, hauling bot. Grab the dead chicken. That was the priority. Prisoners have staged a breakout. They've somehow defeated the door locks and are making their way out. They may seek weapons, fight, or try to escape. Uh, are you serious? How? How did you manage to do that? I have no idea. Um, Iza. Get up over here, and who else we have nearby? Scratch? Sure, you've got a spear. You can beat the snot out of him if he decides to get in the way. So, what? You just you just destroy the door? You actually open the door. Well, what do you know? Um, so I don't want you to actually attack him. I really want you to arrest him. Unless, do I have to, maybe I have to beat you up? Okay, hang on. What if I also take fear? Okay, so I actually don't want to use Scratch, because Scratch might stab and kill him. But I do want to use several people who can just punch the crap out of him. Error, how about you come up here as well? Um, you shouldn't be able to get very far. Melee attack. Melee attack. Melee attack. 
They're, they've decided to beat up my Labrador. No, 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 I don't think so. No, I definitely do not think so. Fear took a small bruise. Uh, looks like Minyoka is also taking a few bruises. Come on, just knock him down. Man, he's gonna get real angry. Oh, we destroyed his toe. How? How did you rip off his toe? I like to imagine they wrestled it on the ground and Iz is like, yeah, and just bit her right off. Freaking heck. All right, capture Minyoka. We're gonna have to tend to the guy now. Gosh dang it, you had to make this difficult. You had to make this difficult. Well, let me guess, you don't like Pemmican? I'm guessing he doesn't like Pemmican. Oh, huzzah, Lunar Eagle has finally rejoined the group after Iza promised friendship. Are you guys not already, did, did Lunar completely forget who her friends are exactly, or are you just, you two never friends? I don't know. Point is though, we have Lunar Eagle back, finally back up to full manpower. Now we just gotta sit back for a while and try to recruit Minyoka. Who's got 21 resistance remaining. You are a stubborn one, I'll give you that. You're also considered guilty, so I could kill you guilt-free right now, but, uh... <laughs> we'll, we'll try to keep you alive. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Scratch and Carl's marriage. Oh, no, not now. I'm just now taking apart the room where you're getting married. It's not going to be nearly as beautiful as before. Oh, well, everyone gather in front of the giant marble grand statue of John, I guess. John shall... <laughs> John shall look down upon you in your wedding and bless all of you, I'm sure. So, uh, where's the bride and the groom? I see the bride. Yes. Carl? Car Carl? Carl? I assume you're gonna come to your own wedding, aren't you? Oh, you're putting out a fire. Okay, well, you know, I suppose out of all excuses to ditch out on your, uh, on your bride, that is a good one. Everyone's just gonna socialize for a little bit. Any second now, I'm sure they're gonna get on the marriage spot. Oh, they're beginning the ceremony. Scratch is there before Carl. Now they're getting married. Is this drinking beer? So is Sophronia. <laughs> so is Error. I guess this is an open bar wedding. Okay, seems great. Nope, they dropped their beer because apparently the ceremony is more important. Here comes the robot to pick up the beer. <laughs> it's like having our own little concierge. Love it, and Scratch and Carl are now officially married. Congratulations to both of you. I like how in the meantime, while everyone's socializing, the robots are coming by and removing all the furniture. <laughs> it's like, all right, party's over, get out. Get out, I'm taking down the tables. Oh, crud, we got a black hive attack. More insectoids, these are supposed to be the really dangerous ones. Oh, wow, that is a lot of bugs. Wow, that is a lot of bugs. Mammoth worms. Oh, no. Oh, dear, okay. Yeah, they want to go and attack my granite walls, do they? Which ones, this one up here? I've got granite walls? I don't think I had granite anywhere. So what granite walls are you referring to? These, probably. I don't even have those claimed. Okay. Well, <clears throat> we better get ready because um, that is a frick ton of bugs, and uh, they absolutely will destroy me. Oh good, some visitors from the Kin League of Bondala are leaving after their stay. You sure you don't want to pay for one more night? I mean, not to alarm you or anything, but there are these giant frickin' worms all outside of the base. I mean, thank God they're distracted with the zombies so far, but uh, any minute now they're gonna realize that I'm here and we're all gonna die. I'm letting my co uh, my uh, colonists get one more night of sleep at this point and praying, just praying, that uh, we can get them nice and refreshed and ready to fight because, uh, oh boy, once we run out of zombies, these guys are gonna start attacking the walls and then we're all doomed. Ah, crap, the bugs got them, yep. The Kin League of Bondola died. Never heard back from this delegation. Look, I'm sorry, okay? They happened to leave at a really bad time. Wow, there are more bugs than I thought there were. They're swarming all over the map. They're all over my north, all over my west. They're freaking everywhere! Of course, I guess that is why they would call it an infestation, isn't it? Um, okay, so these ranged spellipedes absolutely need to go. If you can hit these mammoths and encourage them to die to the zombies, by all means freaking do it. I need everyone else to freaking wake up now, please. Uh, Atticus is gonna go watch TV. You sure you wouldn't rather just go eat? Because your recreation's pretty much fine. No, why don't you go consume a simple meal so we can get you on the front lines. Lex is meditating before battle. Uh, that's probably fine, maybe? I don't know. Um, how about you get over here instead of these, uh, enclosures. We'll try to shoot anything coming up here from the north. Um, who else we got? Let's see, you guys can't fight worth anything. Sophronia. I don't need your researching at the moment. Why don't you come over here? Um, this mammoth worm does want to attack me, but they're too stupid to attack the real walls. They're just going for random targets, so that's fine, I guess. All right, so that's gone. 
Uh, do I really want you attacking this thing? That might provoke it closer to me. Are these guys ranged as well? Oh, crap, they are. Crap, shoot this one. Shoot the black spider. Good news is, the insects apparently have a really hard time shooting through embrasures. So that does buy me a little bit of time to react. Well, I say that, and then Lex is kind of getting swarmed up over here. All right, we're going to pull you back a little bit. Uh, you have been stabbed by some sort of spine thing, but other than that, I think you're more or less okay. Why don't you come and reinforce down in this area instead, and we'll have some more buddies nearby. Um, Carl, you are feeding a meal to Minyoka. I guess now would be a great time to recruit them if that were an option. Let's see, Atticus is drafted. You guys are fine. Iza, I need you to be freaking waking up here. Stop with the whole resting nonsense. Okay? We need to freaking fight. We're on a... This is a war zone, man. Humans versus bugs. It's like the classic human versus alien fight. Oh, God. I just realized that there is a break in the walls. There is a break in the walls. Everybody retreat. They can now get into the base. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. I don't actually have the embrasures and stuff I need over here to defend this layer of the base, so we may be in some trouble. Um, these worms, of course, quite dangerous. Uh, oh, God. Okay. So the swarm is getting in. The swarm is going to get in. We may need, we may need to sort of flank the, the, the swarm if possible. So you guys head back over here. I had pulled them back since this area seemed cleared out, but I think we either need to get up here and reinforce. I think we need to get up in here and reinforce. I don't think flanking is a good idea. That opens us up to zombies, if anything else. So let's get you guys pulled back for a second. Um, if we can get them into enough of a kill box... Maybe... Oh, wait, they're backing off. Okay, they're too stupid to know what to do about these walls. I suppose what we could do is replace these with embrasures, and that would actually work fine. Now, they're just destroying more walls. Why don't you guys peek through for a second? There we go. We're going to draw some attention again. But hopefully we can take out at least one of these worms. That worm's down. Good, good. Uh, how about this little Megalouse? Megalouse is down. Good. Let's go ahead and keep shooting these guys. Okay, the mammoth worms are dangerous, but not as bad as I think I have been expecting them to be. Taking out these range guys would be very convenient. We don't appear to be doing a very good job of shooting that, though, so let's shoot through here instead. Keep hitting their big tanks. Okay, that's a lot of projectiles. Let's roll. Let's get the heck out of there. Okay. Um, so are they going to continue breaking through the walls? I don't know if they are. I'm going to have everyone go about their duties for a second. Let's get some people healed up. Uh, okay. What? 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 No. No doggies. Doggies. Not allowed to be back here anymore. This place is dangerous. Uh, Ophelia, get the heck out of Dodge. Ophelia, don't consume the Megalouse. This dog may be in trouble. I think we're gonna lose Ophelia, who I'm pretty sure, by the way, might also be a pregnant doggy. Yep. Late stage pregnant. Well, I'm pretty sure that if Ophelia survives, which seems extremely unlikely at this point, that uh, the puppies are going to be miscarried regardless. Yeah, no. Ophelia, be gone. Um, it is now going to be consumed by bugs, almost certainly, unless I can rescue it really quickly. Hang on. Iza, can you rescue the freaking dog? I don't feel like the answer is yes. It's going to die in three hours regardless. But let's see. Lunar Eagle is getting everybody healed up. Um, let's see. Lex was in a bit of danger. Atticus is okay. Fear is okay. Could be a lot worse. Anybody else nearby that can handle the dog? No. I don't know if we're going to be able to save Ophelia in time. feel like it's extremely unlikely, but we might be able to. The swarm at least is dispersing to go and deal with zombies again, so it gives me a little bit of time. What I'd like to do is really quickly just rebuild that, um, rebuild that wall. But we got the dog. We've got Ophelia. Okay. We've got two hours to stabilize the pregnant husky before the husky is certainly going to die. Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Closed door. Okay. That was a little close. Um, so, Iza, can you actually treat the dog fast enough? I feel like it's a little hard to say. Um, do we have robots in danger? Because it just occurred to me they're probably going into the wrong zones, aren't they? Let's, um... Let's make sure that this place is cleared out of the home zone. I do not want anyone accidentally walking into this area. I can't tell. The game slowed down, so I'm sort of assuming that something of mine is under attack that I don't want. Really hard to say for absolute sure. Can we save the husky? 
Okay, you're already tending to Ophelia. Ophelia is going to die in two hours, but the meds are nearby. I think we can save Ophelia. The question is, can we save the puppies? The little unborn puppies. Usually a dog that's this late... Oh, yep, okay, never mind. I was going to say. Ophelia has miscarried. Yeah, uh, this late stage in the pregnancy, that would be a little impressive if the puppies had been preserved. Not that I needed puppies exactly, but it is extremely sad and we all feel for Ophelia. Okay, Carl, you're the hero that we need. Can you build the wall quickly? Can you build the wall before you get attacked? Carl, Carl, that was not where I wanted you to freaking go, Carl. Carl, why did you walk into the bugs? I need you to build the wall. Don't shoot the bugs. Build the freaking wall. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ah, no. Did you get it? Got it. Oh. Oh. Freaking Carl took a little nibble, but he did it. He built the wall. Okay. <laughs> Okay, we've also finished with simple prosthetics. Lovely. Let's start working on bionics, I suppose, because we know we're going to need that eventually. Um, it's kind of an all-out war between zombies and insects out here. We've killed our fair share, I think, but... Uh, yeah, I think we're going to be fine. All we have to do is wait it out and don't let anything else into the base, and I think we are going to be just freaking fine. I have to end this video here, though, so thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, that would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in Zombieland.